Alrighty, um, Aries, I'm here to do your reading. The song I got on shuffle for you guys was Ride In Solo. It's the A R V F Z remix by Njomza, N J O M Z A. But I know the original song um, remix is by Hippie Sabotage. Um, and it's like the line is like this one, it just like emphasizes their one line, and it's like fuck it, I don't need you, I'm doing just fine without you, like, um, yeah, fuck it, I don't need you, I can be just fine without you here, I said fuck it, I don't need you, I'm doing just fine, yeah, I'm not gonna butcher it, but that's the song, so I feel like whatever situation you happen in, you're like, you know what, I don't need you, so let's see, let's pull three Oracle cards here for Aries. Do something different. Yeah, you're doing something different. All right, let's see. Love yourself, okay. So you could be really riding solo, have faith. You're just kind of like, you know what? I'm not gonna chase after somebody who doesn't want me. The main song, the hippie sabotage song, it says like, um, I won't look back on things that don't look my way. And I freaking love that line. That line, like, um, I I really like the original version. I like the beat of this version, but I love the line of like the original writing solo. And I feel like, um, yeah, I just feel like you're in an empowered mode of like, you know what? I'm not going to pursue something that doesn't want to pursue me. Like. Love works both ways, I think they say in the original one. So, bottom of the deck, we've got the Six of Wands. This is you feeling kind of a return of confidence. Return of confidence, return of purpose, of knowing who the fuck you are. There's a lot of F-bombs here, so just realize that. This is a lot of, like, you knowing who you are. So, let's see. Overall energy between you and another person. We've got the Six of Cups. Interesting. Interesting. So, reconciliation, perhaps. Perhaps you gave yourself the closure. But also, if this person comes back around, I do feel like you're kind of in this mode of like, ha, F you. You know, like I, yeah. I don't think I need to elaborate on that. I think if this person comes back around, you're going to be like, I'm doing just fine without you. Uh, let's see, clarify the Six of Cups for me. Six of Cups for me, the Page of Swords, yeah, a little sneaky sneak. Somebody's watching you, somebody's wanting to come back in and reconcile. But I think you've moved on, you've hit them with the deuces. You're doing just fine by yourself. You don't need them, it's like when you finally have that moment, you know, it's like you want somebody to come back in and then when you have that, finally have that moment, you could have moved on with somebody new. It's like when you finally have that moment of like, gosh, I, what, what did I see in that person? What did I see in that person? What made me think then they come back in? It, that's always how it happens. That's always how it happens. It's like the energy shift. So your energy shift, you're exuding happiness. It's because you're happy. You're happy without them, right? So you're exuding this happiness this person's watching you. There is this feeling of burden. There is this, here's the pool card, Aries, you. Could be talking about this person getting ready to take a leap of faith. Maybe you're dealing with another Aries. Um, this could be talking about this person getting ready to take a leap of faith here. Um, or just like, this could be again, your energy in dropping the burden of even caring about this person and moving forward. Um, because I feel like this is you, the fool card here. You're kind of like, in. you finally found your little happy place. And you're letting go of this baggage that this past person had left you with. And you're just ready to start now. You're ready to move on. You're ready to take on that fool energy and just be like, I'm done with you. I'm done. And it could be that this person comes in and reconciles with you. Um or tries to reconcile with you and you finally have this like feeling wash over you of like 
man, I wasted so much time on you. Man or woman, I just say man because it's like, you know. Um, let's see. You guys, I'm half Dominican, so we use a lot of like man things like that in our vocabulary. So if you hear me say man ever like, oh man, like it's just, or like man, that's like, I say that to women too. So um, yeah, we've got the queen of cups here. Like you're kind of reconnecting with your heart space. You're reconnecting with what truly makes you happy. You're out living your best life. You're, you're loving yourself. You're doing, you really are doing something different in the sense of you're not going to wait around for this person. And I feel like you could do something different because this person could come in and try and write things. And maybe this is like a cycle and you're finally just saying like, you know what? I deserve better than what you have given me. I deserve better than having to feel stressed and burdened by this connection. So you're dumping the baggage, AKA this person. So let's see the full card here. Um, the page of wands in reverse. Yeah. It's like this person sends you a text message and you just don't respond. You're just like, you know what? I'm going to test this out. I'm going to just not respond to this person. What would happen if I just don't respond to them? And so you live your life. <laughs> and it, 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 trust me, it gets the message through because this person's going to realize. We've got the four of swords here, the moon card, and the five of cups. So yeah, obviously this person's going to be feeling a lot of regret. I feel like the situation that plays out here, this person's watching you. This person's wanting to reconcile. They're going to send you a text message, but this is the this is the merry-go-round. You've been on this before. This person's going to send you a text message or something, or try and reach out to you. And I do feel like you're going to leave their ass on red. Like you're going to leave them on red. And um, you're kind of just keeping your energy to yourself and trusting that there's better out there for you. This person is going to feel massive amounts of regret. But it's like it takes you not responding to them for them to feel that. So just remember that. Four of swords, eight of cups. Yeah, you're walking away. You are walking away. This situation no longer serves you. You've taken your time to kind of meditate and heal your own energy and face some kind of deeper emotions that you have. And honestly, Aries, it's just working out really well in your favor like you're reconnecting with who you are i feel like this person is going to feel massive amounts of regret but it's like they had multiple opportunities they had multiple opportunities even if you would have give this person a chance they're just going to do the same shit over again because they haven't really it takes losing something for this person to learn like this person you might have always been available to them and you're finally i'm hearing finally walking away finally deciding enough is enough three of swords yeah this person's gonna be heartbroken this person will be heartbroken trust me they're feeling it um they're feeling like you know but it, they had multiple opportunities to act right and they didn't um and you're walking away finally i feel like this in itself of the reading is like it's just such a weight lifted off of your shoulder We'll see like the last line if new love comes in, but I feel like you're so finally free that I think you're gonna enjoy being single for a little bit. You're finally free of this person. You have a new perspective on life there with that hangman. And you're just trusting that the divine's gonna bring you who you want. The nine of pentacles, this could be like you releasing any codependency that you have. You kind of settling into your own independence, your own like, Wow, I finally feel what it feels like to be single and on my own and to be secure within myself. And you're just enjoying, you're building your foundation so that the person that you truly want is just going to kind of fall into your life, you know? It's not going to be this whole, like, I have to readjust myself for somebody else. Like, the next person that comes into your life will just be somebody who you can who will work with you and build with you, not that you have to change for. So let's see the hangman here, um, the three of wands and the uh, magician. So it's like you're having faith that you're going to manifest the right person for you, that you're going to 
um, just settle into who is meant to come in for you, which is really beautiful. And the spirit's saying, like, you're right. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep loving yourself because your right person is coming in. They are going to come in. It might take a little while because it, you know, however long you decide. All right, three of pentacles. I see you enjoying being alone right now, though. Alone in the sense of, like, not attached to anybody. Um, not commit, like, no commitments to anybody. You're kind of just enjoying your independence right now. Two of Wands, Four of Cups, um, you know, and this could be that this is a separation that, because with the Eight of Cups, it's always like, you know, leaving to come back, leaving to go find yourself, so it could be that this ties in later on in life, I don't know, you guys have your own independent journeys to go on, because whoever is coming towards you in the future, because I see this two of wands, so the three of wands, it's like the two of wands is about like taking action, and then the three of wands is about ships coming in. So also like the person that you're consciously, subconsciously manifesting could live at a distance from you and could be looking to kind of on the same journey as you, very parallel, very parallel. But four of cups here shows me that this is like talking about missed opportunities so that's why, the only reason why I feel like this person here um, could be coming towards you. And I think the last, yeah, because this could have happened a while ago, and maybe this person is wanting to come forward now. Um, so different timelines here, different timelines. But I do feel like, I feel like this person might, uh, like whatever happened here in the past, if you walked away from this situation because they didn't act right, like this heartbreak really got them, really got them. And they could still be watching you after all these years, but this is like your ships coming in, your manifestations coming in. It's at a distance from you now, but this person's planning moves towards you. If this is a new person, it's because this person's bored where they're at right now. And they're going to make some, they're in the process of making moves right now. And you could meet this person. So you could meet this person after they've gone through like a really big change in their life. And that's how they could communicate. Like, oh, I was really bored doing what I was doing. I just wasn't happy. And so I like picked up my stuff and left. And that's going to kind of be the vibe of whoever comes in for you. So in the extended, I'll look more into who who's coming towards you, we'll pull some archetype cards, we'll see kind of, you know, if it is this past person, I don't know, we'll find out more, we'll find out some messages from this person using the heart to heart and the unsent messages, and then this sex tarot, we can figure out kind of that vibe, um, but let me, let me pull some heart to heart messages right now, just two before we go into the extended. So can I please get two heart-to-heart -heart messages here for Aries? Um, you have my whole heart. I wish you could hear all the words I'm too afraid to say. So this person from your past, they could feel that you left and like stole their heart. Um, but also, you know, I wish you could hear all the words I'm too afraid to say. I feel like when you stopped responding to this person, they thought, they started thinking up of all the things that they want to say, and they've been holding on to this for a long time, so they could want to communicate, they could, there could be this needing of closure, like, at least, like, return my heart back to me, but this person's a little dramatic, because it's like, they did a lot, they've had to reflect a lot on what they've, you know, what they've done, but in regards to a potential new person, I do feel like this is going to be like the person for you, the person you've been wanting to manifest and it's all going to make sense as to why you had to walk away from this other person. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. If you're interested in that extended, I will see you guys there. Bye.